Hello, it's Monday morning, it's 10 a.m. I'm about to unlock this door and show you one of my favorite places in the world. The table tennis table. So I've got three adult one-to-ones this morning. Um, all set up with our cleaning materials over here. I love coaching adults one-to-one -one because they tend to be very focused and keen to learn and improve, so they're a lot of fun to work with. Getting the balls ready. Finished with my one-to-ones, so I'm gonna go for a run now before having lunch. And there's a common misperception that um, I think that table tennis coaching keeps you fit. Um, I don't really think it's true. I think it keeps you from being sedentary and it keeps you on your feet all day, which, which is brilliant. But um, because there's so much feeding involved and multi-ball and stuff, um, it doesn't exactly elevate your heart rate that much. So really important to keep fit. Um, I've lost a lot of my the fitness that I built up over lockdown, I've kind of lost a lot of that now since I've been back to doing so much coaching. So trying to get back on the wagon and get fit again. So off my run. So it's 5 p.m. I'm off to pick up a junior and then go to Danbury Table Tennis Club which is about 10 minutes drive outside of Chelmsford. Um, it's a, Danbury Table Tennis Club is a um, one that not many people have heard of, I suppose, even around the county. Um, usually having six or eight juniors on either three or four tables, especially at the moment with um, having to do things around COVID guidance. Um, it's a brilliant club. I absolutely love it. Um, Quite a few people, all volunteers, are responsible for bringing the junior section up to, to what it is now. Um, Eamon Hall, uh, Gordon Gatherall, um, Brian Ellis, who, who sadly passed away um, last year. I absolutely love being involved in the club and the juniors there. Um, real real mixture of, of beginners, intermediate and, and advancing. Um, some of the the top juniors there have won um won um the top division of the national cadet league in their region uh, the last the last time there was a season so off we go Hello, it's Tuesday morning. Um, I've got quite an easy day today. I've just got a 90 minute junior session this evening at Rittle, um, which happens to be the club that I play for in, in Chumpsford League as well. Um, the, the junior section only got started uh, last September. It's like the first time the club's had a junior section in 20 years or so. So it's made a lot of people happy getting that off the ground. Um, tonight, 
I think I've got eight juniors on four tables. Um, they're brilliant. They're a brilliant group, just like Dan Breeze. Rittle's another club that I love as well. It's nice to have a bit of a shorter day. I've been working so hard lately. Last Tuesday, I think I did like five hours of one-to-one -one before the Rittle Junior group. So, um, And that, that's ended up being quite a typical day, seven days a week. So it's nice just to be able to chill a bit um, and also catch up on a lot of administration and messages, you know, being behind on messages and catching up with people, parents. Um, um, I think there's this perception that when a coach charges uh, £20 an hour or, or so it's on the table that they're well off and it just usually just isn't true because so much work goes on in the background um, in terms of organising sessions, venues, staying in touch with adults uh, and parents of juniors all the time, um, helping out with people's equipment and advice and especially when you want to be a good coach you feel like you, well, you want to really go the extra mile a lot as well. So I think in reality, uh, 20 pounds an hour, you don't even come close. I think. £10 or sometimes even less than minimum wage if you're really if you're really going the extra mile all the time and all of that extra mile stuff makes a difference as well because it's it's what it's the sort of stuff that makes people think your service is really great so it's part and parcel of, of, of what you do as well I'm not going to do admin all day today though um, I've already had a haircut I don't know if anyone noticed um such a table tennis addict that I'm actually gonna have a practice session with a friend later on as well. Um, something I've been getting to do a lot less of lately um, because I've been coaching so regularly, not having enough time to do any of my own training, which I still really enjoy doing. Kind of worried that with some local leagues starting up again uh, in the next week or two, that I'm not gonna be able to hit the ball, so good to actually get on the table and do some training as well. Good morning, um, it's Wednesday, um, before lockdown on a Wednesday I would be at an um, early morning breakfast table tennis uh, club at a school in Chelmsford, which I absolutely loved. Uh, unfortunately at the moment that's not running again yet because of um, all of the implications around schools, gui Covid guidance and hygiene and cleanliness routines and stuff which seems to be the case for, for most schools with getting um, before or after school clubs back in um, so but I do have some one-to-ones this afternoon and I'm also back at Danbury Table Tennis Club for the second time this week with a different group of juniors to, to who they what they were on Monday um, so looking forward to that uh, straight after Danbury I have to rush pretty quickly over to a Tollgate club in Colchester to do some like mini one-to-one -one or one-to-two sessions there with, with juniors. I'm also planning to go for another run today. Um, during lockdown I was absolutely getting my fitness up because of having so much spare time and um, I was actually down to about a 20 minute 5k time at one point which I'm absolutely miles off now, so I'll be hoping to gradually get that back up again. Also planning to cook a nice meal at home. Um, I've not, I've hardly done any cooking in weeks. I absolutely love cooking. Um, my, diet, sin, my diet since being back to coaching so often has been absolutely atrocious. I've either not been eating enough or, or, not, or just, just bad food eating food always on the go which tends to be really unhealthy takeout how do you do mr ragu 
four different types of mushrooms. Chestnut, closed cup, forestier, shiitake. Thursday morning and there are a couple of things I'd normally do on a Thursday that haven't restarted yet. Um, one of those things is um, doing some adult one-to-ones at um, a session called Bat and Chat. Um, Bat and Chat is a, or was a table tennis England a, a initiative to use um, sports centres more in the daytime when they're, when they're going a bit empty. Um, it's been an absolute booming success in Chelmsford under the leadership of um, Gordon Gatherall. He's he managed to get sort of 40 or 50 adults there each session, which is an incredible thing to see. The other thing that hasn't restarted yet, due to the school not allowing um, the club back in yet, is um, is a club called uh, Buttsbury, um, which is in Billericay, which is um, another junior session that go to coach at once a week. Um, it's had a junior section for a very long time, um, decades in fact, way, way before um, I got involved. Um, for a, num a number of years now it's been run by um, uh, a lovely guy called Paul Sturson who's a, a volunteer and he just <laughs> runs almost the entire club off his own back. This afternoon I'm doing one of my routine one-to-one -one sessions with, um, with two brothers who, um, who are both ranked quite high nationally in their age groups. And then after that this evening I'm going for yet another practice, second time this week. It's the big one tonight, it's CTTC, Chumpsford Table Tennis Club, which is um, the biggest table tennis operation I'm involved with. Uh, even with the numbers dropping off since um, returning from lockdown, um, the club's still usually maxing out its available tables. Um, we're allowed to have 16 tables up at the moment, so 
and two sessions, so that gives us um, 64 slots for both juniors and adults each each each, um, each week. Uh, the club's had a junior coaching section for several decades. Um, in the last few years, the club's been run by um, a guy called Paul Nicholl, who, who took over the role of, of, as chairman. Um, he's driven the club in really positive directions. Um, one of the big successes um, in the last few years of the club is its large um, team entry into the Chelmsford Junior League. Um, I think the league itself must be one of the largest um, table tennis junior leagues in the country. But Gordon Gatherall should also get a huge amount of credit for that, being um, being the fixtures secretary and, and collating a lot of the, the team and information together. Uh, much more recently, I've taken over as um, the role of head coach at the club, um, working alongside quite a few other um, coaches, some, some regular and, and some more infrequent. Uh, David Gatherall and, and Keith Martin being being two of the, the main coaches um, I've worked with d during most of my time here. Konnichiwa, it's Saturday morning. Um, today I'm at Tollgate Club in Colchester again, um, doing doing lots of junior one-to-ones um, alongside Erin Gozu. This is one of my favourite times of the week at the moment um, because the attitudes of these of these kids at Tollgate is amazing. And also because Martin Green, who who, um, who runs the club, um, just does a brilliant job of keeping everyone motivated. Recently on Saturdays, um, myself, Martin Green and Ard Quacklestein have also been organising some inter-club friendlies. Um, one of those was at, um, at Ard's club, um, Britannia, in, in Ipswich, which he hosted for us. And the other was at Tollgate. They've been really great days. Um, it's been so good to see a lot of juniors getting enthusiastic about competing again because they've been away from it for so long. Sunday morning. Um, this afternoon I'm going to Chelmsford Club uh, again um, for the second time this week. Um, uh, the Sunday afternoon session has been running for, for a couple of years. Um, uh, traditionally it's been very busy. Um, it's an open practice session, open to anyone. Um, one of the best things about the club is how it swings its doors open to, to everyone, members or not no matter what age or playing experience. Uh, the Sunday session, um, before lockdown, when it was a bit crazy, it was a real hive of activity. It had open practice, one-to-one -one coaching, uh, junior league matches uh, this afternoon, just some junior one-to-ones, and then off to the pub.